right in. We're about to go on a pretty wild ride, connecting an ancient Chinese symbol to the absolute cutting edge of quantum physics, and then all the way to border security. Yeah, it's a connection you would never expect. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with a bit of a visual mystery. I'm talking about a spooky cosmic pattern, you could say. Something that seems to stretch across thousands of years, linking up ancient ways of thinking with the super weird world of modern physics. And it really makes you think, doesn't it? What if, what if all our fancy modern science is just rediscovering wisdom that ancient cultures already knew deep down? Okay, take a look at this. On one side, you've got the classic Tai Chi symbol. You know, yin and yang, balance, the whole thing. And on the other side, that's an actual image from quantum physics. It's a visualization of quantum entanglement. I mean, the resemblance is just uncanny, right? So is that just a fluke, a total coincidence, or are we looking at something much, much deeper? You know, this similarity is so powerful, it's got people talking in almost poetic terms. Listen to this idea of quantum weaving. I mean, it's a cool way to think about it, right? It's trying to bridge these two huge ideas, ancient philosophy and the mind-bending physics of how everything is connected. Okay, okay, but before we get too carried away, let's bring it back down to Earth for a second. We need a reality check. An expert in this field, Dr. Yen Hui Ko, has a word of caution. He says, hey, hold on a minute. This cool pattern, it might just be a side effect of the computer software used to make the picture. It might not be some deep cosmic secret. And that's a great reminder, right? We gotta stay curious, but also stay critical. So what is this quantum thing that's making these incredible patterns anyway? Well, this is where it gets really, really weird. And I mean, wonderfully weird. The phenomenon is called quantum entanglement. All right, stick with me here. Imagine you have two tiny particles and they're linked. They're connected in a very special, deep way. Now, if you check out a property of one of them, say it's spin, you can kind of think of that like whether it's pointing up or down, you instantly, and I mean instantly, know the spin of the other one. And here's the crazy part. It doesn't matter if that other particle is a mile away or on the other side of the galaxy, they're connected, period. This whole idea was so bizarre, so completely strange, that it totally freaked out Albert Einstein. He's the one who called it spooky action at a distance. And you can see why, right? It just seemed impossible. It breaks the biggest rule in physics. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. So how could these two particles talk to each other instantly across the entire universe? It just didn't make sense. So to try and explain this, this spookiness, scientists have come up with some really, really mind-bending theories. Okay, so there are two big ones. First, there's the Copenhagen interpretation. This one says a particle is basically everywhere and everything it could be all at once. Until we look at it, the act of measuring it forces it to pick a state. Then there's the many worlds idea, which is somehow even crazier. It says that every single possible outcome happens. It just splits the universe into a bunch of parallel realities. Yeah, chew on that for a second. But look, this isn't just a bunch of physicists arguing in a classroom. All this spooky science, it's actually the engine behind a massive revolution in technology and, you guessed it, in business. And whenever there's a revolution like this, a ton of money follows. We're talking big numbers. McKinsey is projecting that the whole quantum sector could be worth almost $100 billion by 2025. That is a huge amount of cash, and it's fueling this insane global race to figure out how to use this stuff. But you know how it goes. Big money, big hype, also means big risk. The excitement is so intense right now that some experts are getting nervous, saying it feels a lot like the AI bubble, and they might be right. Get this, some of the top quantum stocks have already plummeted, which makes you wonder, is the hype just way out ahead of what's actually possible right now? And that brings us back to our expert, Dr. Kuo. He gives us another dose of that realism. He's like, listen, the potential is absolutely huge, no doubt, especially for things like AI. But, and it's a big but, the tech is still super early. We just flat out need better, more powerful quantum computers before any of these big dreams can really become reality. Okay, so let's recap. We've gone from ancient philosophy to spooky physics to Wall Street finance. Now we're gonna take all of that abstract stuff and slam it right down into the real world with a super practical application, protecting a giant shipping port. This comes from another study that Dr. Ko worked on and it's focused on the Taishun port in Taiwan. His team took an AI model and fed it a mountain of data. We're talking over 176,000 shipping records to find the hidden patterns of smugglers. And they managed to boil it all down to just six key things to look for. And some of them are pretty surprising like how old a company is, or even just the weight of the ship itself. So did it work? You bet it did. The model was 83% accurate at flagging shipments that were high risk. I mean, that's what we're talking about here, using this incredible tech to find the needle in the haystack of global shipping. But here's the real kicker. This is the number that really matters. When they put this model into practice, authorities had a 90% success rate, 90%. 
they were able to stop nearly a ton of illegal drugs from getting through in just six months. That's not just theory anymore. That's technology literally saving lives. And that right there brings our whole journey full circle, doesn't it? We started out looking at this cool kind of cosmic pattern, and we ended up with a tool that stops crime. So what does it all mean? What's the real takeaway here? What we've seen is this amazing, invisible thread that connects things that seem totally unrelated. Our deep desire to understand how the universe works, whether it's inspired by an ancient symbol or a quantum equation, is literally leading to technology that makes all of us safer. And you can really see the whole path laid out right here. We started with that ancient intuition, the yin-yang. That led us to modern science, quantum physics, which then helped us build advanced tech, these powerful AI models. And that, in the end, gave us a real-world application better border security. See how each step just flows into the next? It's pretty amazing. So we end up right back where we started, but now the question feels a lot bigger. Are ancient wisdom and modern science really two different things? Or are they just two different languages trying to describe the exact same fundamental truth? Are we finally, after all this time, building the tools to prove what some people have known or at least felt for thousands of years? It's definitely something to think about. Welcome to the channel. I hold a doctorate in financial economics, specializing in binary yin-yang algorithms. And the classical Chinese texts, Yi Jing. And the art of war. Hey. This channel is dedicated to exploring and demystifying these ancient Offering works. tutorials, practical insights, and thoughtful commentary. If you're on the lookout for ways to earn from home, or sacrificing hours of sleep, you've come to the right place. Make sure to subscribe. And activate the notification bell. So you won't miss any of the valuable content to come. Feel free to leave a comment below the video. I always make time to respond. Ultimately, how far one goes in life often hinges on whom one journeys with. I hope we can become the kind of companions who inspire each other to grow. Stay tuned and subscribe. There's plenty more money-making wisdom just around the corner.